Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another uh, video update. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, recent positive cases, COVID cases within the school division and corresponding uh, quarantining that has come as a result. And also want to talk a little bit about vaccinations and mask wearing. Um, just as a reminder, I think we all share the same goal, the goal being to keep our kids safe and in schools. Uh, that should be our top priority. I think it, it is our top priority. Um, I, I would ask that as we go through this information that we put politics and, and aside. Um, I know that's, that's a sort of a hot button. This is a hot button issue relative to politics and, and political leanings. And, and frankly, I don't, I don't care about any of those. Uh, I'm not interested in them. Um, what I'm interested in is keeping our kids in school and keeping them safe. And so whatever I can do or we can do as a school division to make that happen, that's what we ought to do. Uh, no matter your opinions about vaccinations or masks or anything else. Uh, so I wanna share some stats with you. Some, actually, the first set of statistics is actually good. Uh, we received this from BDH this morning. Um, the number of positive cases within our region is the lowest, we're, the Northern region has the lowest uh, number per thousand, hundred, excuse me, 100,000 of any region in the state. That's good news. We also, not coincidentally, have the highest number of students in uh, 12, 13 and up, I guess, uh, who are vaccinated. That we are the, our region has the highest number. Uh, and again, that's not coincidental. That's very good news. Um, however, at this point, we have 244 students who are quarantined, and that's uh, as a result of 13 positive. Uh, cases amongst students as of 8-17-2021. Now there's more, more have trickled in today. Uh, I think one or, we have one, one or two more positives today that have been reported and that will result after uh, contact tracing, um, that will result in more quarantine. And, um, and that's truly a shame because if our goal again is to keep kids safe and in schools uh, we we have to do whatever we need to do to make that happen. So I'm asking for your help, and and here it goes. First, whenever possible, please ha have your child wear a mask. Please. Uh, right now, we've got 15.3% of our students whose parents have opted them out of wearing a mask, and we all recognize and are, understand there's legitimate exemptions to mask wearing, and and um, as as provided within the uh, the state health commissioner's order. We all get that. But what we're asking and what I'm asking uh, specifically is for you as a family to perhaps reconsider opting your child out of mask wearing. Um, and why? Well, it goes back to our priorities. Masks offer another layer of protection against viruses, uh, against the virus. Uh, that's the keeping kids safe part. And also, uh, Mass help reduce the number of students who have to quarantine, and so as a result, they're 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 staying in school. Um, so I, I can't emphasize that enough. It's it's not only about keeping kids safe; it's also about making sure that they're in the buildings, which is what we all want. Uh, I also need to mention that the federal transportation mandates, um, in, especially in regards to mass on school buses. They do not allow for the same exemptions as public, the public health order. It's, it's different. It's a different animal. We're going to be providing more details regarding that uh, in, the, in, the, in the days to come. Uh, but the bottom line is um, they're, they're, it's a much, much more difficult um, threshold than school buildings. The federal mandate on buses is much stricter. And uh, we'll be providing more information about that. But the bottom line is if kids are riding buses, they need to be wearing their masks. Um, vaccinations. So, um, what the data we're seeing it shows clearly the vaccinations work, um, and it gets right back to that what I've said several times now. Um, vaccinated students are uh, less likely, much less likely to um, uh, be test positive. Now, again, we're talking about the students who are eligible for vaccinations; many are not. But we have got information about that as well, that they're, they're uh, hopeful, VDH is hopeful that uh, those vaccinations will be 
available to students uh, 12 and under uh, sooner rather than later. So we're keeping our fingers crossed there. Um, and the vaccinations help reduce the number of students who have to be quarantined. Uh, it, it give you an example of this in, in real time. Uh, one of our schools today was facing over 60 quarantines as a result of contact tracing until it was revealed that many of these students had been vaccinated. That reduced the number of quarantine students in half. So that makes a difference in terms of keeping the kids in school. They've been vaccinated and um, they're, they're in contact with a student who's test positive. Uh, they're they're m much, much less likely to have to be uh, quarantined. Um, I wanted to also mention we're going to, we have contacted, our HR has contacted uh, the, the folks at the uh, regional health district, Rap, Rap, Rappahannock, Rapidan Health District, uh, to offer a couple of additional pop-up vaccination centers in Fauquier. But I also wanted to mention that um, there is walk-in walk -in avail availability at the locations at Hospital Drive, 330 Hospital Drive, uh, which is the health department over here, and at Germanic Community College. Uh, Walk-ins are welcome, or you can call to make an appointment at 540-347-6400. And uh, the shots are first and third Fridays from 8.30 to 1.30. But I wanted to mention, I'll just reiterate that we're going to be re requesting these pop-up vaccination places um, to make it more convenient for, for parents and staff members, etc. Um, lastly, we're getting lots of questions, especially about quarantining. We are uh, developing a, a sort of a flow chart that includes sort of a, if this happens, then this happens. Uh, this is information that we are already have, but we're going to sort of uh, quantify it into and sort of easy to follow um, uh, diagram or flow chart, and we'll include answers to some of the most often answered asked questions. So uh, that's that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for more information to come out this week regarding uh, transportation and. Hopefully, uh, those pop-ups will be available very soon for vaccines. But uh, we need your help. We need to keep these kids in school. We need to keep the kids safe, healthy. And uh, whatever you can do to help along those lines is greatly appreciated. Thank you and have a great evening.